Hi, welcome back to some King Koi. I feel a little sad right now because I think someone just spoiled the ending of this route to me. I don't know if it's true obvious, for obvious reasons because I'm barely playing it for the first time. And to the person that spoiled, I know you didn't mean to. <laughs> but man, I really hope it's a joke. I really hope it's a joke. I, I didn't plan on crying on the video, but I just might if that is true. So nobody attack that person, please. That person didn't mean to, I think. I hope. <laughs> but anyways, let's get started. Ah, oh, yes. Maria Bishop, godly voice. By the sound of it, Rhea had already started and was vocalizing out by the lake. The greatest challenge to restoring her voice was... Her crack addiction. Location, surprisingly enough. Oh. Maria Bishop's true identity was top secret. Not only would it cause addicts of her delinquent nature got out, she hated the idea of them tracing that back to her illness. But... Her voice is so recognizable that anyone will figure out who she was. If anyone were to overhear her practice, it was fairly likely her identity would be revealed to the public. Which was exactly why she needed somewhere she could project her voice as loudly as necessary without anyone else hearing. Karaoke was apparently a no-go. Voice was carried outside more than you'd expect, and her cover was nearly blown once in middle school. The music studio was ideal, but since it was a studio, those who managed it would absolutely hear her voice. Consequently, somewhere they could place their trust to an extent where the dedication to strict confidentiality was indispensable. There was a place or two like that here in Hamana, Hamana City, and there were plenty of nasty places like yesterday as well. She wanted to practice singing, but there was no way she could do so. This was an issue that came even before any problems with her throat or brain tumors. For the time being, they had chosen this place where no one else was likely to stumble upon. The only person other, the only people other than Noble Academy students who would come to this hill were those making food deliveries or similar. Those sorts would go straight to the dorm or academy, then straight back so they wouldn't come here. Only during school hours, that is. Once it came time for people to head back to the dorm, the path nearby would be jam-packed with students. They definitely hear her sing as well. All of that said, it wasn't as if we didn't have time. <coughs> she broke into a minor coughing fit. <laughs> Two hours of consecutive singing appear to be Rio's limit. It had taken a toll on her throat as well as her stamina. <sighs> she better not die. I had this impression that Maria Bishop was perfect in every way when it came to singing, but I guess you did have a weakness like this. Huh? It's not funny, yeah, stop it. Yamete. Agreed. Hi, hi. You're famous for not holding concerts, but was this actually your reason for that? Mm. Those are fake fans for real. Not accepting her for who and what she is. Haha, <laughs> I could see that. Ryo was hydrating her throat with hot water. Hot water? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it make more sense to use cold water? After two hours of singing and an hour long break, she somehow managed to make it through another half hour of practice. How's her throat? Yeah, but practice was over for the day. Expert planning classes didn't operate on set schedules, so everyone wrapped up at different times. That went double for this time of year when the term was ending. People were already finishing up, and several boarders were on their way back to the dorm. And once that happened, she couldn't exactly keep practicing. <sighs> I certainly appreciated Jogasaki being so proactive. On that note. So, 
how did those high notes you were worried about go? Hmm. That's up. As a member of the audience, I thought she sounded beautiful. But I guess Ryo couldn't accept how her own performance turned out. That was a world I bet only she, as Maria Bishop, could understand. I hoped it would all work out in a way that she could be satisfied with, but. <coughs> Would she hold up physically? I sure hope so. Friday. Classes were finally over and the second term had come to a close. <sighs> I was beat. Another single class clicked with me that semester, but I was still worn out all the same. All of that aside, winter break would soon be upon us once we got the end of term ceremony out of the way. I could spend all of my time with Ria. <laughs> yeah, since it's winter break. Oh. <sighs> she looked upset at the word break. <laughs> I assume she's just busy with her other work. Her chaperone came along. Mm. <笑>いわゆる年末進行スケジュールと。I can't save you, but I will cheer you on. Good luck. Mm. No need to worry, she's doing great. Right, Jogosaki? So mean. Although I guess it did fit. <laughs> I will. I'd better get going too. But when I tried. <clears throat> please. Please let it have nothing to do with Ryo. Oh my god. Hmm? He stopped this. Kikuchiyo, he looked unusually serious. <sighs> Deep breath. <laughs> Please, no. We chose this spot since it would be deserted until Music Club got started. Soma Ria san no. Newin chu ni okonata kensa no kekka ga demashita. Seikak ni wa, ototoi ni wa mo dete ita no desu ga. Kiki ni kite kudasara nai no de. Does not look like good news. Examination? Jogosaki, I got chills. Jogosaki appeared to be aware and had a bit of expression. Given the looks they were making, I could generally tell what was coming. I felt like my heart was going to stop, but Jogosaki remained calm. She must have been prepared for this. <sighs> but what does that mean? Is it bad? There's no way I'd understand the technical jargon behind it, so I focused on what it could mean for Ria in the long run. わかりません。現代医学界は極めて危険な状態であると判断します。いつ何が起こっても<笑> crazy. There was a risk. But you could also make the argument she was still alright. Did that about cover it? Oh dang. それより、あの子の症状は何か前回の検査より悪化したところは特にありません。本人がまともに検査されないので詳しくは言えませんが、一点即時判断力、瞬発力に衰えが見られるとか。そう。
you're being awfully lighthearted about all of this. It was ridiculously shocking news for me and Kikuchiyo, but... Jorosaki and Ryo seemed unfazed by the news. マリアビショップの活動を控えても悪化するのは同じみたいだな。夏から控えていたけれど、意味なかったわね。気使ってもらったのに悪いな、プロデューサー。マリアは安売りしない方が商品価値が高まると判断しただけのことよ。あなたは
音程は頭に入ってるんだからその流れを全部覚えちゃえばいい。Isn't that what all ordinary people do? そうなの知らない。ずっと勘で歌ってたから。The DIY l o a d was apparently relatively shy. Ma, でもちょっとは頑張らないとな。What is that? ようやくシルビーと、なんだ。あいつの頑張ってきた10年間に追いつかないと。Ria faced the lake and resumed her vocal warm-ups. Do you think it'll go smoothly? ええ、クリス・クラウンさんの名前が出ると。アームはっさり頑張るのね。は、うん huh? 私が何回言っても歌の練習なんて必要最低限しかやらなかった。The bare minimum, that's crazy. And she sounds good? That's even crazier. <sighs> まったく。Was she irritated? Jogosaki let out a heat sigh. She was dropping all pretenses and was likely talking to herself. I'd better not say anything. Whatever the case, unlike Ryo's health, her singing voice sounded like it was in promising shape. She kept this up, she ought to pull through by Christmas. The only lingering problem her tumors. <laughs> was the place, after all. Oh, well, she found out in that one group too. So it's okay, I guess. I guess. Quiet down. <laughs> the one filled to the bed with Maria products? So, 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 その後そのダンボールについて詳しく聞かせてくれ。Box, We did a poor job staying hidden and Riena got quickly got the drop on us. I'd imagine it was only a matter of time before word got out of Ria's impeccable singing skill. After some discussion, we revealed Maria's secret to her and only her in exchange for her silence. Don't tell anyone. Wattel, Wattel, Darren, you are not there. Ah, Nene, sign to die. At a shio ni jimai, ten by your ni mo ni mai. Eh, kedo. 俺直筆のサインって出したことないから多分偽物だと思われて値段つかないぞ。Rena was the same as ever and she easily accepted Ria's secret identity. Despite how easy going she was, I doubt she'd say a word at anyone now that she had been sworn to secrecy. She has proven this entire game that she's very, very trustworthy and reliable. So I would trust her too, despite her being a dummy sometimes. And thank goodness for that. I don't want to bring up about any unnecessary trouble right now. But that. Yeah, once we determined there was an intuition related issue, Ria could improve her performance if she had a space to practice and get all of her ducks in a row. It's great that we narrowed down the problem, but there was no safe place, place, place for her to practice. Talk about crappy timing. Hmm.こんな時こそシルビーのチートパワーに頼ったら、シルビーなら場所くらい楽勝で。シルビーはダメ。あいつには練習のこと言いたくない。いらねえことで気使わせたくないんだ。あいつ主催のパーティーだからな
Ryo was getting more irritated by the second. It's not good for your condition. Relax. Clatter, clatter. She restlessly kicked her toes against the floor. You kind of seem more irritated than necessary, huh? Mm. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. You haven't smoked one since you left the hospital. Haha, <laughs> we kiss every day, so there's no way I wouldn't notice. Her face. <laughs> Let's see here. Have you smoked today? Oh. Ouch. She kicked me. Never thought I'd see the day that Jogosaki played the straight man. Yeah, we definitely aren't friendly. Jogosaki was still her old self. Although I did think you had to be fairly close to anyone you picked up the trick to communicating with. でも今日は他でやることがあるから、どっちにしろ同じだわ。出かけるわよ。車が来たから準備して。あ、but that would mean I'd have to let go of Rio's perky nips. And letting these crisp nips go would be enough. Ah, uh, stop. Thanks, Jogosaki kick. Uh, no mercy. She aimed straight for the shin. You get along well. She gotta be tripping. But I guess it's a good sign they're interacting more. A little more casually and less violently. The older woman I'd seen in passing at previous Mario Bishop related events, and when I was talking to Rio, come to think of it, parked a gigantic station wagon in front of the dorm. She didn't exactly approve, miss. <laughs> she was on guard for a moment when I turned up with Rio. But looked visibly more relaxed now. Would it be bad if I did? It felt right tagging along with Rio, but it probably was pointless for me to go along with them. I'll be more welcome than Ayaka. <laughs> Suck it. I ended up jumping in a car with them. And we headed to. <laughs> Here? Sobe's home. I was sure we didn't need to abide by a dress code, but this place was essential to Maria's job. I knew vocal training was important, but I hadn't considered the visual element behind it. Some music producer a while back snapped and talked about how online singers have no professional mindset. I'm sure this is the sort of thing he meant. By the way, where's Sylvie? Uh, I think most people would feel that way if they heard how busy her schedule was. Poor princess. The end of term ceremony was scheduled for tomorrow, and Sylvie would be taking the afternoon off for herself. The lady from before. Natori-san, I believe, called for Rio and she headed further inside. Who is that lady? Natori-san. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. 
マリア・ビショップの活動は後押しすると同時に秘密を守る仕事です人的コーディネーターとしては大変優秀でしたマリア・ビショップに近づくためにこちらも国としてかなりの情報をさせられましたよどうかエリサンの背中が伸びて Dealing with the media may not have been Elisan's specialty, but it was impressive Natori-san had gotten her. Someone who carried the weight of an entire country on her shoulders to make such a commitment. Maria, sh Maria sure did have the support of all sorts of people, didn't she? And? You're going and dressed like that? Light and Tachiichi's check are the same as 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 the same. Yeah, she walked up to me. Well, um, he's bricked up. Oh, you can't make Maria Bishop sad. Knock it off, seriously. I knew she was real, but it still made my heart flutter. Talk about frustrating. Oh, I bet. I bet. I bet. They eventually got through all the necessary stage checks. Which in do. What? What am I reading? What am I seeing? Which included when and where she'd walk, the timing of the lights, and so forth. She even had the opportunity to sing. Dang. <laughs> Although it had been lost on me, it seemed that Tori-san had noticed Maria was in poor health. She would need practice. I wished we could borrow this console, console but that was out of the question while Sylvie was around. <laughs> Their work eventually came to an end. Maria, come on. Rio walked toward us while scratching her head. B, you okay? I couldn't help but worry after she'd made that comment despite showing hardly any outward signs of exhaustion. But Rio just shot me a complacent smile. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> See, I don't know if she's lying or if she's. I don't know if she's lying to just make him not worry or if she's actually fine. God, whoever spoiled this, thank you so much. Now I'm tripping. <laughs> she let out a mean spirited cackle. Was she faking it? Either way, I really wish she wouldn't joke about stuff like that. Uh, sure. She dragged me toward an empty corner of the room. And if she brought me somewhere private, that had to mean. Mm -hmm. She wrapped her arms around me. <sighs> uh, yeah. Uh huh. I can't exactly help it. ナケラフォレディ。え、嫌ですか。マリアネスオドプトミインエフォーデダンプレイヘーペソナ。ディスカインドベヘビアワズノーマルフォリアバトエフェルライクサムストレンジガールワズロビングアゲンスミウェンシ
I so do. Uh, that's not quite what I meant. For me, Maria and Rhea aren't completely unified yet. So listen, um, I do love Maria, but, well, having sex with Maria Bishop, but how should I put this? I feel like I'm betraying Rhea. I feel stupid for saying this out loud, but I can't help it. Although I knew they were the same person logically, my emotions couldn't quite keep up. <laughs> I'm starting to be an emotional issue, not a physical one. And my body was raring to go. Okay. Rio went to leave. Huh? Are you mad? Why would she be, silly goose? She didn't seem angry with Fredo, but she still headed off in the nearby room. I was a little flustered. However, a rather cheerful Rhea returned a short while later. Nice. Yeah. Well, we are taking advantage of our free time, so I didn't feel like we were waiting long. It must be rough to be a celebrity. <laughs> I more or less understood what she was trying to say. Before it being in her blood or otherwise, that had to be the reasoning behind why she hadn't been active since the summer. Stubborn one, I see. She said, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, not the ear rape. Monday. Classes ended last week, and all that was left was the end of term ceremony. It was also report card day today. It's really annoying how modern society thought it's necessary to grade people on their frick ups. I almost said it. I didn't want to focus on the topic too much, so I stuffed the grid sheet into the deepest part of my bag. <laughs> my bag. Our homeroom teacher. Homeroom teacher, why don't you finish your talk? You talk so dang slow. Our homeroom teacher, who ordinarily dismissed us without any emotion, interjected with a brief speech just for today. Mm -hmm. Of course, her speech wasn't what I'd call entertaining. ノーブル学園が最も大事にすることは時間です。人生は限られています。ましてうん。人の世から格差がなくなったことはありません。しかし一度として格差の生まれたこと人間一人一人に与えられた財産勉強しろ練習しろと時間すべてを将来のために投資しろとは言いませんしかしくれぐれも無駄にはせぬように休みの間もいえ休みだからこそそれを忘れないでくださいね Don't tell me what to do 以上起立 The teacher bowed and left the room she had certainly raised some good points. <laughs> Nobody appeared to have taken it very much to heart. Almost like they knew without being told. Oh well. <laughs> You're free after this, right? You'd better prepare yourself, Sobi. Just because you don't have work doesn't mean you have free time. Oh? <laughs> Our schedules had already been booked. Sobi was equally overjoyed by the surprise. Yes, ma'am. I think I could guess where that might be. 
What is it, the lake? Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> of course. Oh. Where did they did the camp thing? Thought so. Me too. On that tranquil afternoon, the three of us headed to the shore after the lake. Of the lake together. I'd nearly forgotten as Ria had been doing her vocal exercises here. But this place held a lot of memories for us. <laughs> Oops. That's crazy. Even Ria almost drowned here not so long ago. <laughs> you really shouldn't focus on the awful parts. Ria giggled cheerfully. Ryu seemed to take Sylvie's side more often than not whenever the three of us got together. It certainly put me at a disadvantage when I was the only guy. You were the one who helped me back then, weren't you? Mm. Uh, oh yeah, back then. Oh, that was pretty outstanding to say so casually. She had a pre-surgery examination around that time and the hole in her head had been left open. That's crazy. Yeah, she couldn't get water in that. Although she had a cap over it, it would have been terrifying if her brain had been directly exposed to like water. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, that's right. You couldn't take baths, right? Whoa. Reasons supporting why I had mistaken her gender were piling up by the second. Sounds great! I don't mind, just let me listen to two, to two girls giggling and going tee hee together in the bath. Please? Very gross. Slap him. <laughs> I didn't say that. He did. Agreed. Being old friends had major advantages. We didn't need any reason to hang out together, whether it was to go the karaoke shopping or otherwise. We were together and that was all it took for us to have fun. Oh gosh. Sylvie's robotic bodyguard had apparently been with us and it opened its mouth. Suddenly a floral pattern sheet and tea set popped out. I need to see how that works. <laughs> like, they need to make an anime out of this and I want to see how that works because that little thing, how is it fitting a whole table and a tea set? That's actually crazy. Sure. We got the table set up, heated some water, water, and enjoyed the tea time for three. Oh yeah, this would be the first time she'd seen it. Really? Ria was shocked by Kudo's, Kudo's capabilities. Tap tap. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, even though it was totally different on the inside. I guess Kudo was with us all those years ago too. <laughs> it's cute but creepy at the same time. I don't know what it is. It must be that. I doubt if she could tell by sight alone given her poor vision, but it appeared to click once she physically touched it. She put her hand all over the verified shape. It was remodeled using my mysterious sword of lich technology, apparently. Let's get off the subject. Touch, touch. <laughs> this thing has emotions too? She modded this thing. That's crazy. It has features you wouldn't understand unless you saw them. Not that they make any sense even once you do. 
of course. For instance, for instance, Kiro, open this for me. I handed over one of the canned biscuits that had been put out as a snack to go with tea. As you might expect from foreign made sweets, these didn't have a pull tab like on Japanese canned goods. This is one of those products you need an old fashioned can opener for, but. <laughs> There it is again. <laughs> Kiddo twisted off the lead. Tremendous power indeed. It is horrifying, I agree. And it does not get any less horrifying. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. It can even shoot out lasers, fire missiles, and other cool stuff too. I don't know, dude. A whole army in there. A whole... <sighs> I forgot the term. A whole armory in that thing. There we go. It did seem to exceed her expectations somewhat, but she still couldn't see it. Huh? I mean, a candy company. Now I got what she meant. <laughs> Not so much Kiro, as much as a golden lover emblem that had been exchanged for her. It's a her? I wonder where that had come from. There had to be some some oddball who'd put a winning emblem in a ring box and set it adrift, of all things. <laughs> we all giggled together. There was obviously no way we'd ever meet them. This had all happened a decade ago now. But... I couldn't agree more. I wanted to thank them too. It all started with that box. The time we spent together and the 10 years it took to get this far created this one happy moment. Our golden time began when we opened that box. The first time I saw that box, I'm like, oh, a box. But man, who would have thought it was such a very uh, nostalgic piece for them. <laughs> Silver's robotic companion, who appeared to be confused with the events from years prior, chirped. <laughs> Rio giggled quietly. Huh? A sibling? She returned the tea set the Kyuro. There in her lap. Oh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now I understood what she meant. Alright, let's get going. <laughs> oh? The three of us decided to head into town. At the convenience store. Kinda stuck up? Mm, why not? You're awfully patient. All of a sudden, we only ended up buying two chocolate bowls per person. They were designed for kids, after all. It was all pointless if adults relied on their financial resources to score one of the winning ambulance. And speaking of, our success rate was... Uh, he said. Both of mine were losers. Due to Rio's poor eyesight, she held them up to the light repeatedly to check whether they were reflective. I can see perfectly, so don't worry. We both lost. Rio's were also dead. All that left was Sobe. She's stuffing her face. That's true. The package she was currently eating had been a dud. As for the other... Probably. There's no basis for it, but they are generally on the mark, huh? Oh, good point. 
Ria and I had each collected two leverages apiece. How would it work out if Sylvie scored one out? The scenario suggested Sylvie would lay claim to them all, but that would be tough to accept if she only pulled one. <sighs> Incomparable tension raced through Ria and myself. Why does it matter with these two if they're a couple? And like, if she gets it, like, just be like, hey, give me that. And I'm sure she wouldn't even mind if they asked for it. Like, they're so go they're so silly. They're so silly. You got one? She showed it to us. Sure enough, there was a sparkling golden emblem right by the yellow part of the open chocolate bowl. Control your delinquent urges. It's golden. Ryu had such a rough time distinguishing colors that it all seemed she could see was that it was an emblem. What's turned up wasn't silver but gold. Greed detectors were impressive. <laughs> what a lucky duck. <laughs> no reason. In a way, it was great it hadn't been silver since it avoided a fight. But this was totally an outcome that the two of us who had only one to silver emblems across 10 years couldn't accept. Are we never gonna get that emblem? Dang. Are you sure? So we stuck the golden emblem into the Orohora box and quietly plopped the lips up. Ah, perfect. I knew she'd do something like this. Haha, <laughs> that's actually really touching. We were able to return the golden emblem to its box. It wasn't like that had been our goal. However, it felt like we'd managed to cross something off of our four. I don't know. However, it felt like we'd managed to cross something off of our bucket list. There was nothing especially noteworthy about it, but it came with a strange sense of accomplishment. Both Rhea and Sobi had tiny grins, appearing to feel the same. And then... That's a perfect time to end it. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm gonna go a little more. <sighs> Jesus, Ellen. So we shrugged her shoulders. Our time together had been cut short. I guess the next time we'll see you is... Christmas? Ah. <laughs> Now that's a good spot to end it. I know you're raped. Please. Oh god. Alright. Okay, all I'm gonna say, or not, that's cap. I have a few things to say. First thing I wanna say is, to whoever spoiled, once again, I hope that what you said <laughs> is a lie. I really, really hope so. I really, really, really hope so. <laughs> And second of all, next episode is definitely the last episode of Gold of what? Golden Leverage? Yeah, Golden Leverage. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So Man, I can't believe it's over already. It felt like it just flew. But that's what happens when I'm consistent with something. <laughs> when I'm not, I just never finish. But I'm really happy that I have finally almost finished it you know we've been working on it for quite a bit and there's a lot to get through still like other other games you know other visual novels of course but this was a good episode it was definitely crazy <laughs> not gonna say not crazy because we got some big bad news and i'm very sad about it and i really hope there's a good end to this although we know that her life is going to be short anyways in my head i want to believe i want to feel i want to think that it's going to end well and that they're going to live happily ever after. But you know what? Sometimes we just do need a bad ending though because we're so used to the good ends, you know? But not that I want this to have a bad end because I'll actually be... 
I'll actually be very, very distressed. Very distressed. <laughs> and I don't plan on crying on the video. That'd be kind of crazy. But if I must shed, I must shed the tears. I will do it. I will do it because it's real. This this route changed my entire perspective on her, you know, and I I even knew from the start that she was an interesting character. I always thought she was interesting. I always liked her. I thought she was funny at times and I thought it was really cute how upset she would get over little little things, you know, but this route made me like her even more, even more, you know, that I could even say that she might just might be my favorite character and route. Just because I feel like she had a lot to unpack. And we practically knew nothing about her. All we knew is that she was there when Oda was having like any sort of trouble. And if I remember correctly, it was mostly just girl trouble. She was there. And the whole damn chilling on the rooftop and the sunset. I just thought that was so nice. Since like the very early days of this series, the first time that I saw that little art that showed them enjoying the sunset i thought it was so powerful i just thought whoa this is so nice and i just find it interesting that in this route the rooftop days are over you know it doesn't impact how i see or think about her negatively you know it's just the other way around you know i definitely like her a lot more i appreciate her a lot more and there's just a lot you could say about ria she's definitely definitely gonna be one of the top three easily easily very 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 easily but with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching this video, this series. It's very, very close to the end. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Really, it means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Oh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like. It helps my self-esteem. Subscribe also if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, now stay safe. And until next time.